If you are looking for new simple recipes for your family, you have found the right place. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the Making. I am making three new recipes for you this week, but it's only over the course of two nights because one night I will have like the main dish and the side dish is our subby supper. So tonight I am making chicken lo mein. I'm actually going to be using the lo mein noodles instead of like spaghetti noodles or fettuccine. You can definitely just use whatever pasta you have on hand, but I was excited to give these a try. Okay, to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up this water and we're just going to cook the noodles according to package directions. So that needs to start heating up. I've got this large skillet here. We're gonna heat it to medium high, almost to high heat. To the bottom of our large skillet, just add about a tablespoon of canola oil or olive oil, whatever you have. And we're gonna add in our thinly chopped or sliced chicken. So this is about a pound of chicken. It was two small chicken breasts. Along with our chicken, I'm gonna be adding in a little bit of soy sauce, some ginger paste, and some garlic. We're just gonna let this cook for four to five minutes until it's completely done, and then we'll remove the chicken out. Our pan is still pretty hot. I turned it down to about medium. I left whatever juices were behind, and then now I'm gonna throw in some shiitake mushrooms and one small onion that I diced. I'm gonna add just a li little more oil back in here. I feel like it just needed just a little bit more of something to help it soften up. Okay, our mushrooms have got some good color on them and our onions have gotten pretty soft. So let's add in about a cup and a half of shredded cabbage and about a cup of matchstick carrots. We're gonna let this hang out for three or four minutes while we go make the sauce. You know I'm gonna double it just because we have a little more noodles and we just usually double the sauce anyway. We need chicken broth, about a half a cup, a couple of teaspoons of cornstarch, a couple of tablespoons of sesame oil, about a half a cup of soy sauce. I always use the low sodium. Now we need some brown sugar, just a couple of teaspoons. Let's just whisk all of this together. Okay, our veggies have been cooking for about three or four minutes. They seem like they're pretty perfect. So let's add in our sauce and we're gonna bring it to a bowl. Okay, this has been boiling for about a minute. It's starting to thicken. So let's add our chicken back in first. And lastly, let's add in our cooked pasta, our noodles. I did go ahead and turn off the heat as well. And that, my friends, is dinner. Oh my goodness. Chicken lo mein. Chicken lo mein. It smells just like chicken lo mein too. He said when he was in the other room, he was like, are you cooking chicken lo mein? Wow, you did it. <laughs> You did it. I'm so happy. Something is lifting up that sauce that's in there. It's probably the ginger. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So I do want to recommend that you double the sauce like I did. I didn't even use all of the noodles. I left a few of the noodles behind because I felt like it was soaking up the sauce so much. I did not want it to get dry. So definitely double the sauce. If you're making 14 ounces of noodles like I did, you might even want to triple the sauce or close to it. The sauce is the boss. <laughs> You gonna eat the rest of that? Yes, there's <laughs> plenty left over. Go get you some. We had chicken lo mein. <laughs> Real chicken lo mein. That's hard to believe. I know. All right. That's really good. Thanks. Okay, y'all, it is time for our second meal. I've got two recipes for you in this one. I've got the main dish, which I'm about to show you now. And then I've got the subby supper side, which went in the crock pot earlier today. And I'll show you that in just a little bit. The main dish is chicken and it only has three ingredients and that includes the chicken itself. This is brown sugar Italian chicken. To get started, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 425. I'm only using three chicken breasts here. It was actually two, but one of them was pretty thick. So I just cut it in half and the other one I kind of pounded out. So it would be about the same thickness. But if you have more chicken than that, you'll want a nine by 13. This is not quite a nine by 13 baking dish. I think this is like an 11 by seven ish, but you want to line it with aluminum foil. We need a half a cup of sugar, not regular sugar, sorry, brown sugar. And you need one of these packs of Italian dressing mix. It's 0.7 ounces. We may have too much of this stuff just because we only have three chicken breasts, but that's okay. Let's just mix all of this together. So I'm gonna coat it on this first side and then we'll put this side down in our pan and coat the other side as well. And then after you've coated both sides, you're probably gonna have some left over. It says to just sprinkle it over the top. So now that our oven is up to temperature, I'm gonna put this chicken in for 20 to 25 minutes. And at the very end, we'll turn it over to broil to kind of caramelize that brown sugar on top. 
Okay, for our third recipe this week, that means it is subby supper, but tonight is a subby side. If you are new here, subby supper or subby side just stands for subscriber supper. So one of my subscribers has sent in a recipe that their family loves, they share it with us and we give it a try. If you are ever wanting to submit a subby supper or side or dessert, just check the description box below. I have a Google form linked there. You just click on that, fill out all the information, it submits it to me and you never know, yours might show up on a subby supper segment. So this recipe came from Nancy. She said this recipe was given to her by her sister, Mary Helen, about 39 years ago. She said her exceptional sister. She thinks very highly of her sister and I love that. She said she's a retired teacher. Mar Mary Helen is a retired teacher and she continues to inspire young people, including her nieces and nephews and children in her neighborhood. And then Nancy said the sweetest thing. She said, as my sister, she is my compass and my friend. Now, a little bit about Nancy who actually sent the recipe over. She first met her amazing husband, Ron, in high school and then they did not reconnect again until 37 years later and she said that second time it was love at second sight i'm just going to read what she said here she has a way with words she said we enjoy making new recipes and giving them ratings of keep modify and appreciate the effort but once is enough <laughs> Nancy, you are such a kind soul. You have a way with words. I just thank the world of you for sending this recipe in and just bragging on your sister the way that you did. Today's recipe is a subby side, like I mentioned, and it is called buffet beans. Now I'm gonna leave her original recipe linked below. She always makes this in the oven and it bakes in the oven for several hours. I'm just turning it into a crock pot meal and I'm also making one substitution. I'll tell you about that in a second. She said she's never made it in the crock pot, but we're gonna give it a go. That way, Nancy, if you want to make it in the crock pot next time, if this works out, you can totally do that. So we just need to empty three different cans in here. I've got a can of pork and beans. We are leaving all of the liquid in all three cans. We have one can of light red kidney beans. She didn't specify, I just had light red on hand. And then she uses lima beans. I'm not a big fan of lima beans, so I'm going with butter beans. Now we need a half a cup of brown sugar. Now we're gonna put in some dry mustard or ground mustard. She said a fourth a teaspoon to a half a teaspoon. I'm gonna go with a half. We need a tablespoon of the dub sauce, four strips of bacon that you've pre-chopped. I had a pretty large onion, so I only used half of it, but you'll need a small onion diced. And then about a half a cup of green pepper or bell pepper. It doesn't have to be green. Okay, I'm just gonna mix all of this together and that's it. We are gonna put this on high just because I'm wanting to eat in a few hours. So I'm gonna do high for maybe two to three hours. That should cook all of our bacon. And then at the end, we'll add some cheese on top and serve it. So she normally does hers in the oven for a few hours. We're just gonna do it here in the crock pot. Any guesses what else I'm making to go with dinner tonight? Leave it in the comments below. It's been 22 minutes. Let's check our chicken and make sure it is cooked all the way through. So I checked the temperature of the chicken, it is good. We are going to set the oven to broil for just a couple of minutes to caramelize the top and then it's gonna be time to eat. Right off the bat, the chicken looks really good. Lots of spices everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it looks like there's a little bit of a breading crust on here. No, nope, that's just the caramelized brown sugar. Is that right? It Ooh, is. So it's like a, a sugary, uh -huh. caramelized sugary crust here. Let's try this. Cole is about to have a fit over there. That is one of the best chicken recipes like, like this that I've ever had. Really? It yes. Really good. Y'all, it has two ingredients on the chicken. I feel like I'm eating like a Caribbean sort of... Okay. Caribbean jerk almost, okay. kind of. yeah. Really good, spicy, sweet. With... Not spicy as in hot. No, no. Not, not like... It just has a lot of just, different just seasonings. Exactly, okay. but there okay. is a little little spiciness to it, but it's not like it's not like Caribbean jerk spicy. Okay. That that chicken is like really spicy. Yes, that this is. This is nothing like that, but okay. it's reminiscent of that. Okay. Buffet beans. Yeah. Oh, that is good. Just really delicious. Really okay. light. Okay. I love that. Yeah. I love how light they are. Okay. Um, yeah, you get more of the, the bean flavor, like the various bean flavors yeah. are, are enhanced because of that. Yeah. Okay. It's really good. Well, I'm going to dig in. These two have been eating like crazy. It's like a bean fest over here. We've got green beans. Green beans, then three different beans here. Mm. Okay, I'm going to dig in. This meal gets a 10 out of 10 from me. What about you guys? 11 out of 10. Oh, 11. <laughs> 11. Do y'all know what that is? 11. 11. The V is silent. You add another couple of extra syllables in there. Lebm. Lebm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all need to make this meal. <laughs> if you are new here, I would love for you to stick around. Hit that red subscribe button before you go. Join the YouTube family. If you did enjoy this video, 
be sure to give me a thumbs up and a comment below letting me know which recipe you plan to try for your family. Thanks y'all and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> there's no cheese. Later. Later there's cheese. Yeah, later. Okay. I love you. There's no cheese today. Can you believe it? What is this mess? I feel like if you have pretty much any type of bean in your pantry and you want to serve it on the side, but you want to like zhuzh it up a little bit, this is the way to do it. You like my zhuzh. Yeah, zhuzh it. Zhuzh it. That's right. Bye. Bye. But it just gives it so much more flavor than just opening a can of beans, obviously. What you're saying is we need to spill the beans. Boy, you better get the eat. <laughs> Kick it up. You need to calm down. <laughs> you see how my mouth forms when I say bye? Yeah, I do. Bye. <laughs> God, what? Don't do that no more. Bye.